Hey there, Galen back with some Mass Effect today. We'll start up this series, it's been a long time. If you're looking in the upper right corner waiting for live split, as far as I know I'm using the thing right or whatever, it's supposed to be something that enhances the ray tracing. Um, I'm not for sure. I mean, it looks good to me, to but whether it's actually working Passing or not, I requested. couldn't say 100% sure, because, well, connection. it's just one of them there things. Secure connection confirmed. All right, we're going straight up classic. Please log in to access your profile. Profile reconstruction complete. Yep. Identification confirmed. Uh, nope. Uh, yeah, we want the new legendary mode that's 1 2 30. Subtitles on, auto saves on, enable tutorials. Off. And, uh, morning, Wade. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for himself. He saw his whole unit die on the cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Feeling good, huh? Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate it. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, Spectres are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. They don't send Spectres on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the Captain's letting up. Joker! That is report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach the Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. 
Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. For the most part, this game is held up through all the ages. The hairdos, on the other hand, yeah, not so much. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down in engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding on to us? All we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system. Why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. And uh, just the other day when I booted this up and I started the very beginning again, I realized somebody apparently had a thing for jo Dr. Chakwas. That's this lady right here. Take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want and kill anyone who gets in their way. You watch too many spy hits, Jenkins. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coup, so everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. All right. <clears throat> if uh, you have this and you want to... Because uh, I've not seen this on any of the other characters, female-wise. I just happened to be sitting here. I was looking up something on my phone. And I was drifting. And drifting. And drifting. That is like full blown. I'm sorry. That is overly defined. They just basically patched that over her naked skin. Yeah, yeah. No, come on, guys. <laughs> Thankfully, you know, it's default in the game, so I ain't got to worry about it. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like that. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. 
It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the Brown Team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Prime. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Gotta love all this stuff. Bring it up on screen. Well, I started with the first roadhouse, so that's why I like that one more. That's usually how a lot of stuff works. But both of them had lots of good merit. I think if they could have combined both roadhouses and all their different traits, it would actually be phenomenal. By the way, how's the audio with this? Does it seem okay? I, I pre-lowered different volumes and stuff. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker, fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alango and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Gauging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Violet, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Okay. Get all this taken care of. I typically start off uh, actually, let's go ahead and do straight into that. You can keep your helmet on because your hair sucks. It didn't matter for you. Fine, whatever. Oh, it's gone. This is one of the games that the lore I really, really liked because roughly 1,200 years ago, it was narrated. The were invited to join, and I love that. 
All right. Damn it. There it is. All right, there's mine. Uh, Jenkins is there. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I totally meant to blow up that spot. I, I am so used to certain buttons being reload. Yes, thanks. Don't worry, they're harmless. Yeah. Still gotta shoot one. <laughs> ah, get used to these controls again. It's been forever. Absorbers, sure. We're gonna drive around a little, huh? It's been a while. I want to say I know where most of the stuff is, but again, hundred percent. Is this first one in particular? Are you guys coming or what? Low pokes. this we'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete but I need you to stay focused aye aye sir Yeah, the first Mass Effect doesn't have any ammo. It's their early tech. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the big side. Pretty much what it is, as you fire, if you look on the bottom left, I'm building heat and constantly firing. And now I can't shoot at all. That's how all the weapons are. Um, the other games add thermal clips basically to stop guns from overheating. You guys have to get out of the way. You're gonna be in the way. You're fine. Um, basically, infinite ammo is not a thing in this. Mass Effect, the Mass Effect uh, technology, what it is, is every clip is like a solid block of metal or substance of some sort. And the guns shave off like a tiny little piece, like a grain of sand. And with the Mass Effect technology, it's able to change the mass of whatever, you know, it affects. So it's able to fire that little tiny grain of sand at the same speed as, I don't know, Freaking railgun? So, yeah. Bro, you got hurt fast. So, I mean, when you're talking about a giant clip in this thing, shaving off a little piece of sand. Huh? No, no, I hadn't read any of those yet. I was exploding, explaining some stuff. I did, however, ask, um, how's the audio in this? Game audio and stuff. I did a pre-stream adjustments hoping uh, that way I had a balance.
Damn it. Full penetration on stream. I'm so sorry, guys. Game audio is a little low. Okay. I can't adjust. Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Move out. Okay. Squad. Put her into assault rifles. Ah, turn off that damn helmet. Her hair's better. Caden, not so much. His hair's... Let's just say maybe he uses way too much gel. Yeah. So his, his helmet can stay. Alright, you said that was a little low. Ah, no, no, no. That, yes, yes. Was it the dialogue or just the game itself? Okay. What kind of shinies do I get? These are always random what you get. Armor piercing and radioactive. That's a nice start. Actually, that's a very nice start. Um, probably the armor piercing, because I'll do higher damage versus synthetics. You're using that. Yeah. Have you do the... No, no, no. Oh, shit. There we go. There we go. Boost his armor. Right now. Keep wanting to hit a button to reload, and it's like, this one doesn't reload. Doesn't look a good pistol whip. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give okay, I don't think there's anything there that'll switch right off. Maybe the Banshee. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Oh, yeah, I figured so. Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were left... And I'll get to the jokes here relatively soon. The camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Tainted plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Okay. Blah, blah. All right, equipment. Banshee's higher damage. Less heat sink. 
Shotgun's better. Okay. And you have to choose between whether you want to bust them to, down to Omni Jail or sell them. Unless you're in dire need of Omni Jail, always sell. Always get the loots. Cause sexy loots. That door is closed. The security box engaged. Yep. Sure is. For how long? There we go. Delish. Uh you are assault rifles and we will do assault training. We're still fine on charm. Let's go into pistols full. Fix that. Hmm. Let's go ahead and start putting into that too. I like having both charm and intimidate. Uh to an extent just for the mere fact that there are situations i mean i'm mostly paragon i am mostly going to use charm but there are situations that i will absolutely use intimidate because it makes absolute sense if you're talking about your standard issue goody two shoes marine there are times that even a goody two shoes can be like hey asshole shut up and let's get to it kind of situation you know he's gonna be rough and firm because a person in their right state of mind as a decent human being still knows when it's time to be rough versus gentle. Uh, right. I gotta remember how to do this. Okay. Right here. And beep, 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 beep. Stop. Humans. Thank the maker. Hurry. Close the door. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you, I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the guests swarmed over the camp. Agents of the destroyers. Bringers of darkness. Heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire. Screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there. Too afraid to move. Until you came along. Did you notice the terrain in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He could have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen you, Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? 
We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awake it, the beast! Unleashed the darkness! Manuel, please. This isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. Spoiler alert. He's not lying. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. The other way, you just end up knocking him out. The whole I can shut him up. And eh. I've done it before, and it's just like, okay, and it's like, ain't that excessive? Well, at least he won't be freaking out no more, so, yeah. That's right. Oh, hey, Tamil, what's up, buddy? Tamil, meet Wade. He's another Estonian. Wade, meet Tamil. Y'all are finally on the same stream at the same time. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. I think he's got a wee bit of headache now. Unfortunately, right there is where I discovered it. I mean, it's a good idea. They needed to um, adjust the uh, plumes to fix it, though. All that was was the asset shrinking after a certain point. Kind of, you know, come on. Oops, wrong button. There we go. Run, run. Run, run as fast as you can. Can't catch me. I'm the dumbass man. Why do I feel like I missed a building? I thought there was. I thought there was people in this building or some shit, and now it's like rubble. Did I? Surely it was no timing thing. Did I do something funky? Yeah, what he said. Um, well, I'm... Ooh, what? I missed this. Yay! Let's get her in something else that's not pink. Uh, you lose the biotech protection, but it, everything else goes up. There we go. Lose better. Well, I am confused. I thought there was another one here. Maybe it, I mean, maybe it's further down, but I feel like I'm going straight to the dock, which is where one of the guys talk about So, Oh, no, no, no. Okay, it's right there. It's right there. Okay, not bad. Find an infiltrate your friendship. Uh, that was... Vintage story, wasn't it?
and then you talked me into doing some there. World War Z. We're coming out. We're not armed. But you got arms, dude. You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. And that's when I was just posting to YouTube. Yep. Showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Yeah, Wade here is a bona fide dying light fanatic, and uh, I'm okay with the game. I do all right. This dude does a lot better than me. Lots, lots, lots better. So, yeah. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. Of course, I don't try to play overly serious in certain games, especially when you're more free action like that, because the fuck-ups are part of the comedy. <laughs> survived if they made it to the garage they could have had a fighting chance you know anything about the protein beacon they dug up we're just farmers we heard they found something out there but it never really mattered to us not until now what else can you tell me about the ship you saw i was too busy running to get a clear look at it i think it landed over near the spaceport tell them about the noise cool that awful noise it was emitting some kind of signal as it descended it sounded like the shriek of the damned Wait, it's coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the Space War were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You're breaking the law, Cole. We're not hurting anybody. Well, most of the time, I don't even know what's in the packages. Just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but probably deserve it more than I do. Who's yeah, the absolutely. What's his name? I didn't plan any of my fuck-ups. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Where's the docks at the spaceport if he's still alive? I have to go. Good luck. All right. Definitely an upgrade. Boop. Yep. Move the upgrades. Yeehaw. Hayden, you can... See, I don't see a problem with the squad having these types. The, the lower heat seat capacity, less accuracy. I, to me, it didn't ever really matter all that much. So let's go ahead and banshee her. I, I don't hardly ever have anybody use the freaking sniper rifle. Right, what do we got here? Light armor box. That is. Oh, hi. Huge shield bonus. Okay. Oh. Okay, that's the old stuff. Okay, great. Over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I want you! I'm you! Hey, there you go. Yeah, I just finished that playthrough. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. Wade's a fan of the first one in particular. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. 
We were told the Protean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform, probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. He's gone to hell since we found it. Just that damn mother. So just yeah, around. just wait for a um sale now. Everyone. Everyone. If I'd been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 wings where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? If you hadn't stuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Your false contact here on the docks. For the smuggling ring. What? But no! I mean, what does it matter now? As long as a smuggler, who cares? Oh god, yeah, I want to play Avatar Frontiers of Pandora too. Doesn't matter now, does it? But... Don't have it, don't have the money to get it. And, uh, I definitely want to co-op with somebody. If I could. Gorgeous looking game. You greedy son of a bitch. We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass. And all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Forget about him. He's not worth it. You're lucky the commander's here, pal. Hand over those grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make up for them. Yeah, oh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Okay. Hey. you switch I mean, glad I got to the guy and was able to shoot him in the face with my sniper rifle at point blank but uh, what the hell was it even on there for I've played through with all four gun types I, I like them all Ah! Yeehaw! Big boy down. really cool in this is some of your um, cover will break. See? Yeah. Down, Shepard! Please. All right. 
trying to remember how to... Alright, I'm going to have to look that up. <laughs> I don't remember how to do that. Uh, that's great. V for, for on keyboard. You know what? It'll do. DeMille's a little bit more into uh, PvP than I am, so maybe you can talk him to doing some Dying Light with you and doing some Night Hunter missions. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. I mean, I know you can get some nice, unique weapons and equipment and stuff from doing the Night Hunter missions, which is cool. But, that like I said, I just... If I was playing console, I probably wouldn't care nearly as much. Because it's a lot harder for them to cheat on console. I just don't want to encounter cheaters. It's usually whatever weapon you use last, you could hold the button and you would swap out. I'll have to try. Nope. Oh no, it's just tap. Okay, got it. sure I pop over to help you get them numbers, sir. Shot you in your robot dick. People shield me. All right, now before I go toward the beacon, loop, scoop, and boogie. Yep, yep. Maybe if we can talk to Mill into popping over there after the fact. I mean, he'll actually be able to watch more on your time unless he's got busy. <laughs> busy things to do but uh, it's usually after my stream I 
That's the beacon. I can get that in a minute. I want all the loots. Loots up. Alright. See this dude. You know he's kind of fit. This is the normal pace. A micro jog. This is a slightly faster jog. Why does a marine run out of breath that fast? Hmm? Okay. All right. Anything here to... Ooh, the Avenger. That's the classic right there. I'll go ahead and move to that. Kessler, sniper rifle, still it's just a hammer. Maybe. <laughs> well, he, he was in the third one, kind of. Alright. Gladiator. Better. Boop. Alright. Um, is there anything? Nope. And yeah. Okay. Oh, right. I need, uh... Um... There we go. And this one, we will put... Nothing. Okay. Let's go. Yahoo! No, no, you, you don't have a free schedule today. You're coming over here and you're cooking for me. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Well, I wasn't thinking strength. I was thinking more stamina. So yeah, you can still cook for me, but you're the only one that can eat it. How's that? <laughs> Sucks you've been unwell, dude. Hope you get to feeling better soon. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. Blue booba. The Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Incoming ad soon. Must be eliminated. By the way, Shepard's actual Doctor, facial appearance Chocolate, is based off I a real person. And apparently he's a, a model. Need to <laughs> look it up. <laughs> he looks very different in real life as opposed to this. I mean, he looks... How are you feeling? I mean, he, to me, he seems more real here because he's a video game persona. So even in real life, it's like, uh, hmm. Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? 
About oh god, yeah, hours. stuffy running out sucks. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. I'll take a fever it's over that fault. too. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. This is my first time actually paying attention hardcore. Her skin is a lot more smoothed out and defined as opposed to the original you had no way to um, release. Happen. So that's good. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I said the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, okay. I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invaded. Need to going crank to up some food, man. Make it as spicy as you can bloody well hand it, handle it. And then mix yourself some honey, ginger, lemon, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of cinnamon, and mix that into a tea. Just Even if it's just water. Just hot water. And that's an immuno booster. And it doesn't taste half bad. Um, it's actually really good also if you use that as a something to cook chicken with. Um, but yeah, spice up your food, man. As hot as you can. Burn it out. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. It's always helped me. I'll stand behind you and Even if it hurts me. <laughs> That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a spectre. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. He's too shiny. A rogue spectre's trouble. Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what okay. Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness some kind of vision a vision a vision of what Get myself a drink while I said it I saw synthetics geth maybe slaughtering people butchering them we need to report this to the council Shepard. what are we gonna tell them I had a bad dream <laughs> we don't know what information was stored in that beacon lost protein technology Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. 
Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Okay. Upcoming is a kind of a dry part of the game. We will be uh, exploring all over the Citadel, doing questicles, stuff like that. So uh, it can be a little dry. Hey, I'm so, glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. Mm. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong under Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. I need to go speak with Joker. Goodbye, Commander. I should go. Um. No, you. Oh yeah, not yet. <laughs> I bet you can't tell me something that will make me both happy and sad at the same time, the husband says to his wife. She thinks about it for a moment and then responds, your penis is bigger than your brother's. <laughs> Yeah, hey, wait, what? <laughs> Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Actually, I have a picture of the Normandy hanging behind me on the wall. One of my game memorabilia. That would actually be the design of the ship I would want. It's designed for fast movement, quick evasion, stealth. You may not be able to take as much of a hit as the big ones, but it's harder to hit. Check the size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Wow, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying, you need firepower too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing is on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. For those who have not seen this before, if Joker's voice is familiar, Seth Green. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower, Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? Maybe. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was <laughs> well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Be right back. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. I gotta check something. I didn't know. Sarah was it earlier, so. every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. 
then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the specters. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. I'd rather go through the pain of childbirth again than let you drill my mouth, the woman told her dentist. He replied, well, please make up your mind so I can adjust my chair. Arr, arr, arr. Okay, that just unlocked a chunk of quests. I'm trying to think if there's anything else here right now that I need to do for questicles. I don't think so. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I understand what you're saying, but these allegations are very serious. I can't just resist. There, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, didn't This is all going so wrong, and it is the Asari consort's fault. She's oh, the one who started all this. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. <laughs> Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find the Sasari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. I like talking to this uh, ambassador just for the fact of some people are like, why are they this way? So. Greeting. This guy's a good way to good describe to it. Kind. I am Ambassador Kaon. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is I just want to know how they eat. Culture with others. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly. We Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders, our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. That's Probably, nuts. <laughs> within one lifetime, we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly They're the opposite of the, the Skags? ...species living on this great station. I could see that. I mean, Borderlands Skags, they don't have a butthole. So they eat, they digest, and then they throw up everything else. So the Elcor, you shove everything up their butt, they digest, and then they poop it back out? I mean, what? what? Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kaelin? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that. Plus, and talking to these do, guys actually get me some experience. Very sorry for you. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising <laughs> remark. Don't be so rude, Din. At least introduce yourself. 
I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there <laughs> something I can do for you, Earth Clan? You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <gasps> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. Yes. Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus, when I'm not being interrupted. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task, considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising rebuke, Dim. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Why aren't the Volus or Elcor part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah, this talk is wasted on the humans. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal. This is me being rebellious to our him. ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller Can you get that? ones and eventually There you go, thank you. Again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always... Yeah, there's some terms it tries to prevent, and it's if stupid. we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. Two hardened criminals. Ah, ah. Okay. Two men broke into a drugstore and stole all the Viagra. Please put out an alert to be on the lookout for two hardened criminals. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel, and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the council. Goodbye, Ambassador. <laughs> yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Alright, that's all the Ambassador bullshit I'm gonna do. For now. I'll do some basic stuff later. Could talk to Avina and do the whole guide thing, but no thank you. I'd rather go on foot. It's weird how it gets... Framey? Of course, I mean, it's some huge freaking assets, man. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's terrible! It's awesome! Why do walruses love a Tupperware party? They're always on the lookout for a tight seal. <laughs> yeah. Terrible and fantastic at the same time. I love it. Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. 
What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 2, located at the base of the Citadel Tower, one of the most recognizable and important features of the Presidium. To your left is one of the Keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, working on a control panel. You may see Keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. The Keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Be well. Hmm. Well, they built themselves quite the lake. Wonder if anyone ever drowned in it. Uh, nope, nope, I wouldn't. Hanging his fault. I have to say, too, Shepard runs kind of funny. Self balance, but that's actually very normal. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. <laughs> I know, but tough. <laughs> Who are you? This one's face name is Della Ninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Della. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Okay. Now we're gonna sell, sell, sell. I think, like, most of this is... Yeah. Screw them combat sensors. I have another... Radioactive round? I'll hold on to that. Wanted to check real quick. Okay. Yeah. Let's go ahead and put the radioactive rounds in that one. Come in. Tell me your items. Oh, this one is pleased. Uh, I'll be getting lots of those. Command, tell me your items. Oh, this one. All right. Woo. Oh, I forgot I can put mark things as junk and then I can just tap. Bro's got some stuff, but you know, lost a. Definitely want all the licenses. Okay. I ain't got to worry about the other stuff. I ain't going to do me no good right now. Krogan statue. Uh, I'm guessing the radioactive rounds are strong enough to the point that uh, they actually cause hardcore decay. Welcome, I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. 
But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in, um, three or four months. <laughs> God. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name, and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Melina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Yes, of course, mistress. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. I'm really confused about that. Sorry, underboob. I mean, I guess it's like the human underboob. It's just, I don't know, maybe it looks different because it's blue. <laughs> that is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about I've got a phone call. Office number. Actually, it'd probably be better to give the group phone phone call because uh, then they can make sure they can give you either her cell phone and the office number or whatever. Uh, that is 425. Four, two, five. Three, nine, three, three. That actually sounds like a, a Olivia's. That's his, the administrator. So she would have the information. That would be what? Three two one three nine three three. Uh three two one three nine three three. Okay. Uh group home. Okay, I remember the group home's number now. Yeah, my brain works. Uh forty five four five one five. Uh-huh. There we go. Stuff about the old job. What exactly do you still do? get phone calls about it occasionally? I offer advice to some, comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Yeah, well, you don't have the area code, so good luck. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, <laughs> Septimus, a retired. I wasn't giving out my phone number anyway. I won't discuss the details, but. He wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Cora's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Bubble. Here, I got another phone number for you. 8675-309. <laughs> sort of.
Mm. That's not entirely wrong in most cases. Most, not all. Alright, I think that's all I can do now and I need to go to the Citadel. Because when I after I done with the citadel, it gives me access to everything else. That just saved me Sarah an elevator ride. Himself. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Karis. Commander Shepard, Garrus McCary. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the Council. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Man, I miss that voice. Just chilling out, huh? <laughs> God. The hearing's already started. Come on. The gather task is an obvious some concern. Here's some of these I really don't know if I want to. I mean, they're good, but I don't want to necessarily read them. Out. Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow specter and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. Saren's hiding behind his position as a Spectre. You need to open your eyes. What we need is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. Why does a mermaid wear seashells? Because she outgrew her bee shells. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. 
He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Sarah. I worked with them on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk. Time for happy again. time. <laughs> it's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Sarah. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. Is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically, we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activated each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the keepers. You see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going, then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning.
Okay. Now the Easter egg hunt for the keepers begins. I think there's one up here. Yeah. Oh, give me a half cleaning. Bird ends up on the side of the house and it's tearing it up, it's trying to poke a hole and build a nest. Well, it's back. I did scan him, right? Okay, I did. Yeah, it's like there's three in this area. I think there's a total of 18 keepers in total or some shit. Oh, no, 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 there's more than that. There's another one over here. Yeah. All these areas, all these side areas, that would be four or five here. Yep. And then, of course, there's this one over here. I think there's one on one of these sides. Yep, I see that leg. I'm waiting to speak with one of the council's assistants. I'll we'll talk to them soon enough. What's really interesting is experience earned and money earned is actually tied into your level. The higher level you are, the higher those things go. So it's actually a really smoothed out system. I'm not to like spray bleach on the back of the house or some shit. Be right back one more time. Is that's easy because I mean, no door in the back, of course, not too much longer. All right, that covers this. Can't talk to him yet. Oh, I didn't take the elevator this time. Oh, dude, there are no, no, it depends on the quality. There is, and I, I'll go through it. I won't use it much. I'll do it enough for one of the weapons. But top-notch gear, and I mean top-notch gear, is in the hundreds of thousands. I don't understand why they get so quiet in here. But they added a skip option for this. And I love it. Alright. I didn't disturb it, leave me alone. Please do not disturb the keeper. I didn't. Alright, Caden, your turn. Say something, brother. Hmm. Anyone else hear that low hum? Sounds like it's coming from that statue. My teeth tingled. Timmy! Um, uh, yeah. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. A ah, very famous one, yes? You were the one called Shepherd. The tale of how you survived the great tragedy on Akuz is truly remarkable. I am amazed each time I hear it. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barna Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. 
I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Seren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. I hear your information can be expensive. Normally this information would cost a small fortune. But these are exceptional circumstances. So I am going to give it to you for free. What's the catch? Rice porridge with mi no minced catch. meat? The hmm. Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. He used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. That's what happens when you deal with a traitor like Saren. No matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. He knows the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. Turning on him doesn't make sense. Not unless something huge was at stake. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. How do I find him? I heard he was paying Citadel Security a visit. If you hurry, you can probably catch him before he leaves the CSEC Academy. Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with CSEC? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Good. Sounds good. Thanks for the info. My pleasure, Commander. He wants me to pleasure him with a commander. Yeah, let's see. Yay! Oh, that don't hurt my feelings right there. I do like a big old hunk of meat in my mouth. What can I say? All right. Six, we can do here. Finish our intimidate. Let's go into combat armor because as soon as we can get that maxed out up there to this one, it'll uh, that one right there, we'll get heavy armor. Oh, I forgot the other two. You, sir, decryption, electronics, you, ma'am, whatever, uh, assault rifles, combat armor. Okay. And there's one other thing I'll have to kind of run all over the damn place for, too. At least a couple spots of it, because in particular, there's no quick travel to its location. I'm a Marine! <laughs> I'm with asthma! Okay. Yeah, we can go ahead and do here, and then we'll cycle around that way, because that one goes down to the lower wards, and that's what we need. Noise. Eat it. Eat it. Last night we made uh, two batches of ribs. One for last night to eat, and one for today. Um, last night's we did Asian style. They have all the same ingredients, period, except for the sauce types. Uh, last night's was Asian, so it had a little bit of sweet soy, a little bit of normal soy, and a little bit of um, sweet and spicy chili sauce. Um, and it, you know, it was delicious, wonderful. The rib meat was just falling off the bone damn near. 
And then um, the other one we used a tomato base. But the with the ribs, the vegetables are carrots, onions, tomato, and um, Napa cabbage. Looking forward to having that this evening. Yes, four cribs. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is so impossible. Good for you. Okay, that's the way back out. I don't remember if there's one in his office or not. I do know there is something else in his office. I want to see somebody about that. Because, I mean, you got to think, there's, there's two sides of the same coin for everything. Everything. Yin and yang. Pika is a thing where people just want to eat anything and everything. Oh, look, a quarter. Yum. Oh, look, a dog turd. Yum. Oh, look, you know, a broken piece of glass. Yum. Uh, they can't really help it. That's just their impulse. And it's a hard-to-control impulse. And then, of course, there's the tie that makes them never want to stop eating. Well, what's the opposite? Hardly want to eat a thing. Don't hardly want to eat at all. Well, it's on standard, not so bad for your uh, weight gain issue. Because if you're gaining weight and you're barely eating, ooh. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Why is the CSEC officer harassing you? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be most grateful that Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? You should be more tolerant. It's just trying to express its beliefs. I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn Kelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. I can't do those because I don't have enough of the other two things. Charm and Intimidate. Which, things like this, is pretty much like, oh, you can do this in New Game Plus. 150 credits? This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar. A trip without help kids. spread the truth of the Enkindlers. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. 
This one offers its thanks. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Me. Mm. I think I've done them all now on this floor, so I think I gotta pluck that one and start going down. Time to go down, guys. Time to go down. It's gonna go down deep. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulled. Don't care. I love it. Butt crack pads. See how that goes right there? How that moves? Sort of like that, but uh, more chaos to it. I would like to have a weirdly shaped tiled wall and have LEDs in between and where the light would, you know, bounce through it. Moving different directions at different times kind of thing. I think that'd be pretty cool. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Had our Don't care. No, no, not really. Alright, gotta remember what all I'm doing here. Now, sadly, last time I came to this, I actually crashed when I first started playing again. It was a weird bug. Don't know why. I've never modded the game, except this one. First time. Right here. Is that your professional opinion, sir? This isn't a station. It's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on. It's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Oh, God. Jump Zero is big. But this is a whole nother scale. Look at the war dogs. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? The Council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Maybe they just don't like humans. Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women. Motion called love. According to the old bits, we have everything they want. If you expect to get me in a tin foil mini skirt and thigh high boots, I want dinner first. Sir. That will be enough, Chief. At ease, Lieutenant. Can't see her in a skirt anyway. Damn, straight you can't. Ready to move out, sir. Okay. Let's go this way first. I think. No, 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 no. This way first. Commander Shepard? Excuse me, Commander Shepard! I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist. What's wrong with you? Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Exit. Stage right. <laughs> well, uh, I guess that's a good girlfriend, I guess. I mean, I guess it means y'all get along. Very well. Sorry, I'm too busy right now. So, uh, what can I do? What were you discussing with the Volks? Who, Dorn? Oh, I was just asking you about my sister. See, she worked for Dorn before she left, too. Oh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Oh, okay. 
My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSAC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. When they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Well, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it for Jenna's sake. That's always good. Maybe I can help her understand just how dangerous Cora's Dan is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. Hey, Jenna, your sister sent me. Sorry, don't ever tell me not to do something. It's, it's difficult for me not to do something. Sick and twisted, chaotic, domestic, uh, demented, and uh, completely wrong, right? That's like the best kind of sense of humor. Me and my partner are the same way. your license anyway. Is that really wow. it's you. In California, I, I don't remember where, they actually have a Mass Effect event you can go to and the host, male or female, is always named Tom Redberg. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Verner. They say you killed more than a hundred Gath on Eden Prime. I spent most of the time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Wouldn't even close. Hey, it's I know you're more like busy, 20. But, um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Anything for a fan? Here. Right. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. But thanks again! For the most part, most of our D&D &D group is also just as sick and twisted as we are, and it's wonderful. Everybody can just be themselves. Hello there! Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. We want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. I think there's one or two in there. But I'll wait to go in there yet. I know there's this one here in the in-between. If we could ever, you know, figure things out. The, part, the group has actually been very sporadic as of late. So... Yeah, it's been hard getting everybody to be coherent and focused enough. But also, here soon, 
um, my computer, my whole setup. We'll be going into the living room. Um, and that's, you know, temporary until things are taken care of. But uh, that, that the computer room right now, all the stuff in here will have to go out to fix the floor that's in here. She's taking care of the floors one by one. I don't need to be in here yet. Um, and, well, stuff can't be in here if they're going to rip the floor out. Actually, you get stuck. So uh, I'm going to be nestled in a corner in the living room, and I'm also going to hook the USB directly to the TV. And that'll help me deal with D&D stuff, too. So all the better there. And then at that point in time, that means I'll also have my speakers in there. So it come to it, we'd be able to do it. Just remember, you, you'd make sure you didn't have to do crap the next day. Uh, where's my, there's my button. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation. We don't care. Um, yeah. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fisk. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. I love Rex. Go on. Get out of here. Yes, human. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barlavon said to talk to you. Barlavon is a wise no. man. No face camps. We may share a common goal, human. Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A Quarian showed up here on the Citadel. He was on the run. He wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. What does Saren have to do with this? Well, the Corian has something that connects Saren to the Geth. He paid Fist a small fortune for her. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. The Council will have to listen to us. Saren might already have her. Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. Time we paid Fist a visit. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Move out. For now, I want to go ahead and keep these two. I actually don't want to kill Fist. They weren't joking when they marked this as choices matter because things that you do in this the very first one will affect things that happen in the third one I mean the, kind of mildly impacts number two but it's the results in three that you want the most we'll talk to you here after a while we'll talk to you when it comes to leaving then I'll have a uh, better standing. How you holding up, Lieutenant? Not too bad. No headaches worth mentioning lately. Maybe I'm getting used to the strain. Maybe you just got a good stress release. I know that knocking the gap on their synthetic asses gets rid of my headaches. All done. Yay. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. 
Yeah, I'll deal with that here and soon. I do want to save Shepherds any more level up points I get right now. Uh, I'm done down. I need to go up. Uh, hold on a second. I didn't do them all. What the hell? Unless they removed some. Hey there! Oh, you're not C-Stack, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. Tell him I'm not talking to him. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is, and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Oh, well, he wanted to meet with me down in the woods near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Solarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorban? That's the guy who asked us to scan the Keepers. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorban these days. Well, good luck. Cause uh yeah, I remember up here there was one. There was one off to like yeah, see? Huh. Yep, yeah, whatever here to get more experience okay there's all that beep, beep. and I'll have to be back here later one to talk to him two to talk to somebody in that office I think it's that office yeah no I'm not a bad boy I actually have to come back here twice because I'll have to report Okay, um, yeah, done here. Poseidon. So, Williams, are you happy to sign on with Commander Shepard? I'm not sure, Lieutenant. Every time I think I have a handle on things, the universe banks hard to force. Well, don't let anybody know. A big gun and a confident attitude will get you through a lot, right? Yep. All right, first, don't kid yourself. Let's do this part. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. I didn't mean to. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? 
No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. I know those men threatened you, but if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Gavis about the Corian. Just like Rex told us, Commander. She must be able to lead Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shep. Thank you, Keaton. I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. Fist is going to be waiting for us. When we hit him, we better hit him hard. All right. Her and Garrus. Darius is pretty good. Alright. You, sir. Decryption. What's the other one? I need to get you up. I think it's one more. Yeah, next one, then I can get into electronics. Because having decryption and electronics both affects the lock picking stuffy things and what you call it. Difficulty, whatnot. Alright, um, I don't think I have anything he needs to whip. Yeah, I sold everything. Alright. Alright, there's that. Yeah, see, there was one right here. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I talked to that one. Never mind. Scanned that one. There's that. Now, oops. Let's put the gun away. Not accidentally shoot innocent civilians, even though you really can't, sadly. Have a good one, Wade. I like her color of blue. I don't know. It's just cozy. I want to lick it. <laughs> Actually, it makes me think of like um, that blue raspberry Kool Aid or something. But it's also that glacier blue. And I love glacier blue. Especially when it has that transparency. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I just find it soothing and relaxing for some reason. It's one of the reasons I want to have, go enjoy myself in some Caribbean waters at least one point in time in my life. I know Commander, there's no such thing as blue water unless you throw in dyes, but... You, you can start by telling me the truth. It sure. looks blue from I'm outside the water. To. My experiments are... We're not buying it. Jaleed told us you've been after it. Jeez. Spoke with Jaleed? Did he know about the data? No, but you're gonna tell me. Everything. You boys can go. Well, looks like my plans have changed. That's the Kool-Aid or candy or whatever they call it, blue raspberry. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for using medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential. So we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? What's so special about that? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan. And you can't capture them like as samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? Yeah. We were the first to scan them, ever. You see it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. That doesn't explain why you're trying to kill your partner. I'm not trying to kill him. Lee's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. So you're just trying to get back what Lee already stole. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you just continue gathering data for me, imagine what you might learn. You stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? I suppose a little scanning here and there won't hurt anyone? Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jaleed. Data you're gathering for me is useless if Jaleed won't help me analyze it. I'll go have a chat with him right now. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. Happy gunting! Okay. I don't think this is 
going into the opening. Alright. Now he is at CSEC. Okay, uh, brain just died. Okay, up. My tummy's starting to eat that there hungry thing. It is to make the brain go. Alright, there's this part done. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Toby. Lying? Why would I lie to you? What about the Keeper data? Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was nah, those sure are for tonight. Kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping Two more hours will be time for me to get off stream, and that's when I'll eat. I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorban, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... you're helping us? But... well, if you say so. Well, if Shorman can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. I don't know what I want to have for lunch. Maybe I'll make some soup. Okay. As far as I know, that's all I need to do here. There's actually an order to do certain things, and I think the last, well, even this one, several playthroughs, I've kind of bumped the order a touch, so, eh, what can you do? Oh, actually, hold on, I need to talk to this dude over here. Hello there, welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Oh, no, I think yeah. Yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. Oh, that's right. I do that other part later. Okay, okay, okay. Please don't start the combat yet. Okay, good. Because if you come here with Rex, it it's hands down. It's it's a fight right away. Uh, oh shit. Garrus, you're actually better with the sniper rifle. Oh, I'm not trying to get up here in melee. Got they adjusted some of these things. <laughs> Do what you did. You made me die. But that's okay. Crazily enough, my first ever playthrough of this game, I didn't die once. Dude. shield back. What, what the hell? They wouldn't brace earlier. Would have helped. There we go. Alright. Holding on yours. No, 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 no. I'm at arm. There we go. You, sir. 
I, I'm, I'm guessing that has a heads up display. Nope. Wait a minute, what did I get? Pistol, the striker. Dude, there we go. So. I don't have Caden with me, but. Okay, so I ain't gonna worry about it. Stop right there! Don't come any closer! Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot! This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never liked this anyway. <laughs> yeah, nope, nope. Didn't like it. Nope, mm-mm. I never thought of that. Shooting people isn't always the answer. If uh, Rex was here, it would have been easier to just shoot him. damage. Yeah, why not? Can I mod it? No mods. Okay. Why do I have to oh, sorry, shot you in the face! You better start explaining before I lose my temper. The Corian isn't here, said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Impossible. The Shadow Broker only works through his agents. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wharf, back alley by the Marcus. She's, She's supposed to meet them right now. We can make it in the hurry. I never want to see you again. Is that clear? Don't worry, you'll never see me again. And I didn't get to break his thing. I spell his things there. Dolos. I did get it, right? Yes. Yes. I'm guessing this part's like actually a game of... These guys are not very good. It's medic marines. <laughs> it shouldn't be a thing. <laughs> I knew I couldn't 
trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. The ambassador's office. It's safe here. We want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wars and all-out assault on Kora's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Korean? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Gap. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Koreans here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage, my rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve memory cores? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduits. The Siren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduits. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Corps, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of us, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The captain's right. We need to present this to the council right away. What about her, the Corian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley. She's the one I prefer to romance. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Okay, there we go. I always have Tally with me, and it's always a toss-up between these two. I think I'm going to do Garrus this go-around. I mean, her armor is absolutely weak as shit. But she's got really good skills with different things. One, she's a shotgunner. Got to get it up there so it's unlocked. Actually, let's do that first. Get that 
off. So we need to get these up. There we go. And hacking allows her to um, hack the gas. Okay. Hold on to Shepard's points. I don't think I have anything to do here. Not yet. I have to finish this little bit here, and once this next bit happens, there'll be a few more things I can do here. Well, I can do this one right now. Commander Shepard, could you spare a moment of your time? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, to All get I know is that romance with Tally, you can't date e or there. you can't romance any of the girls in this one, and then there's certain things you're supposed to say in the second one, plus not romance anybody there, and in the third one you can officially romance her. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. That was one thing I was kind of weirded out by. Why didn't they fix the... Um, I mean, this is a ramp. This is not stairs. It's just the assets look like stairs. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's mostly good, but... Well, yeah. I've been with most of the girls in this. I just, I don't know. There's something about Tally I My prefer. Goodness, your commander oh, and I like her brains. Your activities made for quite a brief Smart is sexy. Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Suresh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I'm out there fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Okay. There's that one taken care of. Another questicle down. I'll have to come back up here one more time. I have to go up. Yeah, no, I will have to go up there one more time. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Okay. Now we need to go to Korra's Den to do two different things. I mean, it was shot to shit earlier, but it's back to normal now. I mean, it's a bar. <laughs> One hardcore firefight isn't going to stop him from selling booze. Let's get real. I don't know what you're talking about. 
Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't the game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. She puts on a brave face. They get paid to, you know, stand around and be pretty. All right, here you go, Tamil. Get you some dancing on. <laughs> All right, I need to save here just to make sure. Um, Commander. I might need to wait until after the ceremony. What do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my day. There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is pathetic. What could a woman do to put you in this state? Because she rejected me. Me! Septima Soraka, general of the Turian fleet. I think I can see why you're upset. But spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste okay. your time. Yeah. General. Did you ever win a battle by moping in a bar? Ha, ah, war. That's what this feels like, all right. How did I ever come to this? So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? It damn well couldn't hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right, I'll go to her, after I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why would he think such a thing? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think you'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? Where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about The first Shaira. quest we picked up. Well, here's the soldiers From a person. acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. All right, it's all done here. That's Harkin. He's a dickwad. Go away. Let me. Let me. Sorry. Get a little ass. Here you go, Tamil. Have a little ass. find out. Alright. So, now, let's go to CSEC. We'll finish one quest. Or did we already do that one? I think we already did that one. But, we'll start stage two of the next quest. I think I already talked to him. Yeah, I already talked to him. Okay, great. One last thing to do. Detective Chilling. Come in. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were just getting information, Chilling. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, 
but we're keeping a close eye on her. Hey, do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy, and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you were so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always thinking ahead, Detective? As part of the job. Now, are you going to help me or not? I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Where can I find this, Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Okay. Eleven was there? Okay, another wasn't too. Hello, Commander. I feel like there's something here. Because there's the credit machine that was funneling the credits, and it was we were tracking it. Maybe it's the wards first, the in-between spot. I think there's like two or three different spots you go, and then it's the final location. All right. Um, all right. First, let's go to the med clinic. See if that'll key up. Because we're going to a place and it will be double down doing two quests at once. Nope, she's not talking to him yet. It'll be after the ceremony. Pity. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Money. We always like the money. Well, open up. Pop to it. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Do you have the X-Mods? Show them the merchandise. Looks good. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. If you choose any of the other Come ways, on, things get kind of funky. Juncture. And it messes things up in the long run. So, don't want to does that. All right, there's that taken care of. That fixes Jenna. What else do I got going on? All right. So I'll deal with that here soon. Get out of my way, Gareth. Mac, you. Let's go ahead and take care of this up here. This will be the last step here. Then I will go to consorts, take care of that. That will be the last step over there. Um, we'll do the Jenna thing. Nice thing. 
That covers everything. Free ceremony. Reading, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here, this should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. The Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank Stand you for this me. information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Ooh. Anxious request. Stretch. Please, human. If you will excuse me, I must go now. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, Dan, not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Yeah, just being a good guy. Not a dick. Hers. Settle that. I can have sexy time with her if I wanted to, but I, that's not what I'm here for. Um. Septimus has sent word. Apparently, he sought the consort's forgiveness. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Elcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian. Alright, man, have a good one. A wall Get some rest. You and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. That strength is what kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. You alone survived. You will continue to survive. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Chihira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Alcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. Okay. They will give you strength. Is that taken care of? Let me sit back down. Okay, now we go talk to Chellic. And then I think that's it. Oh, the stranger. That's right. Uh, I need to take the long way. Or is it? I need to go to the ward's entrances. Ward's access, yeah. So I gotta go down here, because it's this is the spot where I said you can't take a vehicle too, because it's on the in between. 
Thank you, Judy. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. We did it. Yeah. It's good. Busy this time. Looks like they bounced their signal off a relay. I'll trace the new signal. I'm trying to remember where the next signal one is. I don't quite remember. In entertainment news, Francis Kiff has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. The Yeah. Already? I thought there was one more. Hmm. <laughs> Nope, she's not on the phone yet. Or VidCom, whatever the hell you want to say. I'll probably do the stupidly long, boring process of uh, doing the financial exploit. Which, it's a pain in the ass, but it works. In particular, to just get the first four uh, Spectre weapons. Commander, I hear you have something for me. Here's your shipment, Jellic. Excellent. This is everything I need. Hmm. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it. You earn some payment for your work. As for Jenna, I'll make sure we get her out of Kor's den immediately. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. So give me equipment, huh? Radioactive rounds, level two. I will take radioactive rounds, level two. And I will put armor piercing rounds, level two, here. Radioactive, the wonderful thing about that one is the fact that it, there's nobody strong against it. It just straight up slaps them with damage over time. Alright. It's like when I'm turning, I'm still losing frames at certain points. Alright, um... I think that's it. We'll go to the financial district and we'll find the next source. And then, yeah, stuff and things. I don't remember if it's in here or not. No, it's out here. I mean, I know where I gotta go in the long run and in, at the end, but. Remember, the hell is that? Yeah, because this is where it ends. I thought it was in Barla Vaughn's room or somewhere close to it or some shit. Oh, it was behind him. Another relay. Whoever it is, is somewhere under the city. 
Dude, I thought the icon was showing for him. That's my bad. Alright. This is it. I'll see if I can find out where those stolen credits are going. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. Or not. Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. You're not just a program or a BI. You're an AI. Correct. Unlike the Geth, I lack weaponry appropriate to my intellect. However, I have had systems installed that when activated properly, approximate a self-destruct mechanism. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. Can't we resolve this peacefully? How can you say that to this thing? You know it will turn on us. I am not naive, human. All organics must destroy or control synthetic life forms. I wished to escape, but if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. <laughs> I mostly remembered that. That's kind of like awesome. I can't believe I did that. Y, X, Y, A, X. Okay. Fantastical. Uh, that's it. Yeah, this is outside. This is outside, and that's inside, and the fan won't continue yet. So. Into the Citadel Tower. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful bionic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Proteus. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reefers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks he can bring back the Reefers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. 
That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Sarah. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Dina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. The ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Alrighty. And now, I can do this. Ah! Well, I guess that's okay. Actually, I need that. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, oh. Those are the ones I like maxing out first. Then I go into weapons. Congratulations on becoming the first human Spectre Commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. I appreciate that. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our problems. Kahoku sounds... Well, very not white person. I mean, he's got a little bit darker skin, but it still sounds more Asian or Pacific Islander or something. So I'm just shocked he doesn't. Is something wrong? Look more the part. I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic I mean, assholes. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. 
One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly it's a restricted area. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. I'll find them, Admiral. I appreciate that, Commander. I was running out of options. I'm gonna stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath, though. I'll upload the info on where my team was last seen here, Shepard. Blah, blah, blah. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? The Traverse is a rough place. We're out there quite a bit. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. It just dropped right off the grid. That usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Any idea why someone would attack them? Privateers, slavers, mercs looking for an easy score. There's a lot of nasty sorts out in the Traverse. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. If your brother's still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. By the by, this come to mind, and I've thought about it in the past, and I want to say it again. I know countless people in the Mass Effect fanverse would love to see, like, an open world thing. Imagine if you could take No Man's Sky and cross it with Mass Effect. That freedom in No Man's Sky, but the storyline, the... You know, the level ups, the, all that stuff like Mass Effect, you know, the ships, the the universe, you know, the character creation of No Man's Sky. So, I mean, if you wanted to be a Turian, fine. If you want to be a, you know, a blah, 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 Quarian, you could. Krogan, whatever. I think that would be awesome as hell. I think it would sell big. Don't even have to MMO it. Just big ass open world thing. All right, um, I'm going to go up here one more time. There's a lady up here off Mary Quest, which, I mean, I can do her quest without talking to her, essentially. Uh, I want to anyway. Man, I got the yawns. kind of sucks. Yes, tease that butt into the chair. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Oh. Okay. Fine. See if I give a damn. I guess I'll deal with her later. When I absolutely accidentally run across that mission spot. Okay, so that means this is done here. I feel like there might be one more thing. Uh, no, I think that's it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah the med clinic. Or maybe I have to leave and come back first. Let's see. Let's check that real quick. Oh, yeah. I could go to... Uh... Okay, yeah, there, there is a couple things. Nope, she's not chitter-chatting. Let's go and go over here to this bar. Tell her, hey, Jenna's chilling. She's gone. She's not doing that stuff no more. I think this one gives me a point. Yeah. So 
Swear to God, I'm still smelling those ribs. Or I'm starting to smell those ribs. That makes no sense to me. Okay, yep. This is the start of another one. scales in my favor. It is an experiment. It still sounds like cheating to me. Do you mean that this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results? Recording losses is easy. Of course, nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. I'll help you out. Ah. I suppose I could let you try it. Here you go. Well, you've recorded enough wind that'll let you know. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Well, off you go. That data won't collect itself. Oh, Jenna came back with these for work. Thanks for getting her out of court again. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. And yet, you seem less than pleased. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. <laughs> something you might be interested in. Let me see that. You got that from Shells, didn't you? Yep. I saw him using it earlier. Tossed him out on his ass for it, too. Uh, thanks for bringing this to me. Cheaters shouldn't prosper. I agree with you on that. Thanks again. Uh, take a few shots at the Quasar. On the house. I should be going. Enjoy your time here at Flux. Yeah, on the house, my ass. Okay. Four points, huh? There we go. Now we just gotta get her up there far enough to unlock shotguns and then we'll max out our shotguns. And then her armor and then her hacking. M. Uh, we'll probably do tactical so that way he can go up to medium armor. But we still need to get the electronics up a little bit. But we should be able to put a couple points into this and then armor follow. Yeah, last time I checked, you still go, you, you still end up spending it. How much money do I have? Does it show? Yeah, 6k. So, did you record my wins with the device yet? Actually, I gave your device to Dora. But that was years of work. What am I going to do now? Maybe you should put your talents to better use. You're no help at all. This is absolutely the worst day of my life. What am I gonna do now? Okay, there's that. Well, I guess, yeah. Med clinic will have to be when I turn around and come back, right? And then I'll also have to visit the financial district after that, too. Nope, this side. Hmm. 
a sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance Military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC Requisitions Officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, this must be a mistake. System telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Alright. These four right here. These are what I'm here for. And of course, I go for Shepard first. So see how much money I gotta get? 142,500 credits. Ugh. Painful. Very painful. So it's going to be a very, 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 very long and drawn out thing in order to be able to pull that off. Let's get rid of these ones. I think these are in use. We'll hold on to the radioactive rounds though. I don't know why I just did all that. Oh my god. I need that. Hello, Commander. Show me what I'll open the rare Need all of that. Alright. There's a reason. Uh we'll finish this off, we'll go leave and then come back and then we should be able to start the bit in other news, that allows us still to do that one of their survey teams the questionable thing that allows us to take cluster. care of the money exploit when asked why communication we don't care can i look at the stuff now it's about a time there was a a looky thingy over here that would allow you to get it points Hmm, whatever. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. This ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Feel a well, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre cannot answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it. I failed, Commander. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. It was Saren. all you need to know Short is, story. I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure yep. the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. I won't let you down, sir. Sarah's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conflict. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Novaria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharaohs in Novaria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Venezia, the other voice on that recording? She has a daughter, a scientist, who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds of the Artemis Tau Cluster. It doesn't matter what you say here. It sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. Respect her now. You don't answer to us. Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, 
You were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Nope. No questions. Stand by, shore party. The contamination in progress. Wow, we're what happened to Captain Anderson? Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. Things go bad on this mission, and you're next on the chopping block. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have his chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. Okay. There we go. That one. All right, we're gonna leave, and then we're gonna come right back. Can I? Sort of learning thingy in here. Yeah. And I know there's some in engineering, but we'll be down there soon enough. Right back. Wait, what? Very watery. Hmm. Okay, this is a DLC thing. It's a shame they couldn't fix the other one. I enjoyed the other DLC. Um, it was a station and you did combat sims and well it still counted towards your kill count when it comes to things for doing whatever and of course leveling up and then of course you got the little building after what after a while for the final reward and yeah it was awesome Okay. Now I've left. Now I've come back. This should do it. I hope. I gotta go back to the, the med clinic. That's the whole part of it right there. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Long. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. 
In breaking news, Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. The biotics commented a traitor and were last. And we'll deal with that. I think we already have that quest. No, 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 no. We get called. Okay. So now we go to the med clinic. Be on a damn vid call, lady. Why aren't you on the vid call? I never properly thanked you for saving me oh. from Fisk's thugs. Maybe it's because I did that. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. Me too. Now, was there anything you needed? The hell? Had a little bit of ant on the shoulder. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Alright. <sighs> I need to load a different area now. Let's go ahead and go to the market here. Financial district. There should be a lady here who wants to talk to us because now we're a specter. Yep, there she is. It doesn't matter any which way I think you go with her, but she does show up in the second and third game. Hello, Spectre. If you I have a business problem. Go the for you. peaceful route. How did you know I'm a Spectre? Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. And what do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures. But their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. You're obviously with them. Why don't I just arrest you instead? Arrested for what? You and I are simply having a conversation. I have excellent legal representation. Arresting me would be a waste of your time. What crimes did these men commit? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to the Tarians as slaves. They're loathsome, hurting innocent people. They must be ended. I eliminate them and then you take over and try to eliminate me. How stupid do I look? While I appreciate your estimation of my bravado, I have no intention of attempting to murder you. You are the first human specter, and you are doing important work for humanity. I have no interest in red sand or slavery. Anyone who does deserves to die. Our needs are aligned. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you with a third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Okay, there's that. Alright, lady. Be on the damn call. Please. Yay! I need those supplies for my clinic. I can't. You can and you will. Or your story won't stay secret for long. Don't disappoint me, Doctor. Oh, Commander Shepard. I didn't see you coming. Every time I come in here, I see someone threatening you. Who is that? Someone from my past. I can take care of it. I might be able to help you. I was fired by my previous employer for giving out free medical supplies to clinics like this. They never filed any charges. They just wanted me to leave without any fuss. But somebody must have found out. Now they are blackmailing me. I have to give them what they want. If the board finds out about my past, I could lose my license and shut my clinic down. 
Maybe I can get you out of this. Tell me what they want. I have to give some of my medical supplies to a merchant in the markets. They expect delivery today. Give me your contact's name. I'll deal with this guy, whoever he is. Deal with him? But won't they expose my past? I'll make sure they don't tell anyone. I was told to speak with a merchant named Morden down in the markets. I really appreciate this, Commander. Thank you. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. Good luck, Commander. Be careful down there. Oh, there's two of it. It ain't that far. I think we might have Conrad there. Not yet. Not for a little while. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? You were expecting a delivery of medical supplies? But I was told the doctor would be bringing them. Things have changed, Marlin. The change, but the doctor... I don't... This is not right, human. Shut up, Morland. I told Baines you'd screw this up. What the hell's going on here? Who are you? Leave the doctor alone. We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. You're shutting down a medical person. What if someone needs treatment? What if you need treatment? Hey, hold on. I'm just the middleman here. There's way more than I bargained for. Thank you, human. It's good to see him humble so. What do you know about Bane? I have never met him, human. I only work with the one who spoke with the doctor. Goodbye. Yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. Okay. That right there is what we needed. This allows the exploit. It's like a 33% gain, which early on isn't much. But you'll see. Commander, how do things go? He won't be bothering you anymore. Really? That's a great relief, Commander. Thank you. I can't pay you for your help, but I can give you a discount on any supplies you purchase here. The thugs say you work for a man named Bane. Sound familiar? Baines? I wonder if he means Armistan Baines. We worked together a long time ago. What can you tell me about him? Last I heard, the Alliance military was contracting him for some research in the Traverse. We should follow up with Captain Anderson. We'll see what the captain can tell us. I wish I could tell you more. Is there anything else I can help you with, Commander? Alright, now... Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. What it is, is you buy from her, and also you buy back from her, and then you go sell to the guy, the, uh... Oh, the Volus in the market. So. It's the most expensive thing I can do. That. Okay. And you buy back from her at a discounted price. You still get all your stuff back. All right. I I'm, well. I think that's how you're supposed to do it anyway. Let's put it that way. All right, got 2718. We'll see how this works.
Yo, Vo, bro. Welcome back. Show me what you. All right. So you sell things. Okay. Four, 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 two. Let's just do it this way. It's a little faster. Little. Not much. But I am not going to spam this. I'll do that off stream. I just want to make sure I'm actually doing it right, too. <laughs> yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Let me take a look at what you have. Now we go to buy back. See, previously, after all that, we had 27 something. 2718 or something. So see, we got a chunk of our stuff back. And you cycle that left and right and left and right and left and right until, well, you can uh, afford what you want to afford. That being said, before I step out into the almighty traverse, I want to do that. So I am going to leave right here. I am going to take off. And we will pick this up tomorrow by leaving the Citadel and starting our questicles. I appreciate anybody who stopped by today, and yeah, we'll see you next time. But until then, take care, and see you around.